what it do beautiful babes sweet angel in the building thank you so much for coming to hang out with me right over here if you have not already done so put this on your list of your favorite things to do hang out with your girl sweet angel y'all guess what we have today so i wanted to share today a question was posed to me regarding how do i keep my skin even toned and radiant so today's video is all about that i have done two remedies in the past that i always can count on and i want to share those today so let's get right into today's video and please if you're new to the channel welcome in please subscribe turn on your bell notification so you'll be in the know every time i upload over here i appreciate you let's get to it today what's up beautiful babes it's your girl sweet angel yeah yeah y'all know you see this bowl we getting ready to mix up something that's great for you absolutely this right here is a natural treatment to lighten and brighten your body your face your neck your bikini area honey elbows and knees wherever you want to put this near sensitive areas and great thing about it is good for all skin types if you want to know what i'm getting ready to mix up in this bowl you need to keep on watching but first go ahead and subscribe thank you beautiful babe let's get busy okay y'all the first ingredient right here is yogurt now we've used plain yogurt before today we just have plain low-fat yogurt inexpensive applying yogurt on your face regularly can lessen the visibility of blemishes and moles, make freckles disappear and lighten suntan skin. We are going to use two tablespoons of yogurt. And that is absolutely perfect there. Next we have rice flour. It helps to brighten the skin by improving the collagen and elasticity of the skin. The tyrosinase present in it controls the production of melanin in the skin. We're going to take just one teaspoon of the rice flour. There we go. Now we love aloe vera gel on this channel. We use a lot of it. Yes, we're going to use some aloe vera gel today because it is good with dealing with skin problems and it's also good for skin lightening. The aloe vera plant contains some essential minerals and vitamins that help to reduce pigmentation and lower the production of melanin in the skin. Let's go ahead and do a half tablespoon of the aloe vera gel. If you have fresh aloe vera plant, please use it. No problem there. There we go. Now we're going to take some lemon juice. These lemons, I have already kind of squeezed a little bit of them out on a previous treatment I was using but I have a little bit more left so I'm just gonna take this lemon juice here whatever I have left I'm not gonna waste nothing girls no ma'am no sir I'm gonna use it cuz hey I ain't got it like y'all got it you might have all that money but I ain't got all that money I gotta use every drop and that is plenty enough I do believe See all that good juice that's left in that lemon. And we're just going to take a half of a tablespoon of the lemon juice. Let's see if we can do this without getting seeds. What good! There we go. Bam! Now you know lemon juice acts as a natural bleaching agent for your skin. Lemon juice whitens the complexion, bleaches facial hair, reduces uneven pigmentation and dark circles, blemishes and freckles. And the final ingredient is turmeric. This is ground organic turmeric and we've used this time and time again but let me tell those who may not have visited this channel about turmeric turmeric contains curcumin which inhibits pigmentation in the skin this leads to diminishing of dark spots and lightening of skin over time yes everything takes time babe so don't think you can use this treatment one time and you just gonna have brightened skin we use it over time so work with it we are just gonna take well this is a quarter of a teaspoon 
which is about a pinch. That's all we need. That's completely all we need. And now we're just going to mix it, mix it, and mix it some more. I'm actually going to add in a little bit more of the rice flour to the mixture because I love mine a little bit thicker. I didn't think about that when I was mixing it, but there we go. Just a little bit more so it can not be runny, just able to stick in place and that is perfect. Now another optional ingredient is a tablespoon of cucumber juice. If you like to juice a cucumber, you would use one tablespoon of cucumber juice as an optional ingredient. Because you know, uh, the cucumbers actually have astringent properties in them to lighten the skin. Absolutely. So here we go. There is your treatment to lighten and brighten your body, face, neck, bikini area because it is great for sensitive areas and all skin types. Remember, it does have lemon juice in there which has vitamin C, which I recommend not sitting in the sun for too long. Hey, you can go outside, just don't play in the sun too long. So do this treatment when you are definitely going to be more indoors. And what we do is just take it on the skin wherever the affected area is and we work it in we rub it in like so and now that it's on you'll massage for two to three minutes and leave on for 15 to 20 minutes then rinse with warm water apply a moisturizer your normal moisturizer as usual you can use this two to three times per week and for storage, it can be kept in the refrigerator for up to seven days. Beautiful babes. I hope you loved it. I hope you liked it. Because I sure did. And I'm getting ready to go do my whole body, my knees, my elbows, and all of that good stuff. I know we're not trying to get rid of our melanin. No, this is just that extra pigmentation that this mask is going to help today. Now, it's not just for your face. It's not just for your neck. You can use this on your arms, your legs, your inner thighs, underarms. This is a wonderful treatment. This is a wonderful treatment for all over the body. So I don't want to delay it because I know you want to know exactly what it is. So let's get the party started right now. So today, beautiful babes, I am going to share with you my natural skin lightening skin mask. Now don't be alarmed by the, the lightning. This can be used on your face, neck, or body. It's cheap and easy and effective if you're looking at lightening some pigmented areas on your skin this will work for you you don't have to apply it all over just in those areas where you need lightening it let me introduce to you my milk powder and rice flour treatment this treatment will soothe and moisturize your skin so much now you may have gone on vacation and have sunburnt skin this is going to help brighten your skin back to its original color. Now the ingredients in this wonderful rice and milk mask are rice flour. Rice can help your skin look youthful and translucent. Rice contains a high concentration of PABA, which is para-aminobenzoic acid, and it's a very good sunscreen. It soothes sunburn skin and also promotes the skin's repair and it's an antioxidant as well and i'll also be making use of whole milk powder milk when applied topically the lactic acid in milk will gradually reduce the skin's pigmentation resulting in a lighter complexion did you know cleopatra bathed in milk to whiten her skin and milk also softens the skin too Using milk as a skin mask makes it feel so good. 
then we're also going to be mixing in olive oil. Olive oil is being added to add moisture to your skin. And finally, I'll also be making use of rose water. Rose water will restore the pH balance in your skin. So let's get started mixing up this wonderful mask treatment. Rice flour, whole milk, olive oil, and rose water. Taking three tablespoons of the whole milk powder, taking five tablespoons of the rice flour. Let's just mix our dry ingredients together. Now, if you have oily skin, you can leave the olive oil out of this mixture, but since my skin typically is quite dry, in the cool months, I do use the olive oil. So I'm just going to mix in about one tablespoon of the olive oil. If you have oily skin, all you need to do is add in rose water. But for the rest of us, we're taking the olive oil and the rose water and mix it into a nice paste. You can also use just water from your hydrant or you can also use distilled water as well. Now I'm taking my time and adding the rose water because I don't want it to be too thin. And I believe that's perfect. Now I stirred this until it became a nice thick paste. Perfect. Now just apply this to the areas that you want to lighten. And this is it, y'all. Let's go ahead and apply it. I'm going to apply it to my face. It has a kind of tightening effect as well on the face. Now you can apply this to your hands and your legs, inner thighs, wherever you need to lighten pigmented areas at. And to moisturize my hands, I love to use this Amla Fruit Oil by SVA Organics. It is excellent to prevent dry skin and even dry scalp. It absorbs quickly with a non-greasy filling. Now don't forget, other areas of your body needs attention too, so this is perfect for that as well. Now I'm just going to keep this on until the mask actually dries, and it's going to be super, super tight on your skin. And this is going to be great, especially those with oily skin. If you leave the olive oil out, it's going to help with sebum overproduction, and it's also going to be great for blackheads. Now once the mask dries, which is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes, rinse it off in the shower as normal. If you're applying this to your body, leave it on for about 30 minutes for the whitening effect to take place. But for your face, I only recommend 10 to 15 minutes because it's going to get super tight. And you can do this treatment two to three times a week. And now, check out my skin. It looks fresh after this natural whitening treatment. Whole milk and rice flour, olive oil, and rose water. My complexion looks flawless without makeup. I'm not ashamed to go out without makeup. Skin maintenance is so very important and it doesn't have to be expensive. Now, you go on and make your own. Everything that you need, you'll find in the kitchen. So, so easy. Now, as for the rest of this, I'm going to take it and use it on my inner thighs or before I get in the shower, I am going to go ahead and massage this into my inner thighs and let it sit for 30 more minutes. I want to go ahead and rinse off the majority of this and then I'll do the rest of it in the shower once my treatment on my inner thighs dry and I've rinsed that off as well. 
Now, as far as the leftovers, not recommended that you keep them because they're going to dry up completely. So you'll need to restart. Again, you can do this two to three times a week. Now that mine has semi-dried, let me go ahead and get mine rinsed off and I'll be back after I complete my shower. Wow, that is so nice. Oh my, oh yeah, loving that. Now this is a must try y'all. This is one you gotta check out, for real. All right, beautiful babes, that's it, that's all. Please take time out. If you enjoyed today's video, please show me that you did by dropping a like on the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you don't wanna lose this chick. Go ahead, subscribe, turn on your bell notification, and you'll be one of the first to know the next time I upload. And do your friends a favor. Yes, share me with your friends as well. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.